We are here in a week number of 14 here for Colts franchise, and we are playing in Vegas against the 8 and 4 of Vegas Raiders. We are also 8 and 4, and as we look at the team rankings, we are the number one ranked offense, averaging at 32.1 points per game. Just a reference, because I, I was curious. The number one offense in NFL history is the 2015, or no, sorry, 2013 Denver Broncos, and they averaged 38 points per game. That is just stupid. Stupid. Like, insane. So, we're, we're six points away from that. That's insane. That's insane. Anyways, uh, we are, I think, second place is averaging like 28.5, and that's Kansas City. So, we are an elite offense. And it's mainly because our run game has been so good. And honestly, our defense has really done well at creating turnovers, right? They're able to create a lot of turnovers. We get short fields, and, and that's really how we've been scoring. Also, like the return game, too. Taj Holloman obviously coming off of a career game. We're getting games like that, and obviously that's been a big help. Uh, we are the number 11, 11th ranked offensive passing uh, team in yards per game, averaging 36.9. And we are at 145 rushing yards per game. And then defensively, it's dropped down a little bit. But from where we started the year, we were like 27th, 28th. We are now 16th at 22 points per game given up, which is good. Passing yards given up, we give up a lot. But at the same time, we've been up lately. So we've been giving up a, a, a lot of passing yards lately. And then rushing wise, we're giving up 92 yards rushing, which is first in the league. For the Raiders, they are 19th in the league in points per game, 12th in the league in defensive points per game. Now, what is interesting is we're 16th or 12th, but only a 0.2 points per game difference given up defensively. So I guess a lot of teams are really just bunched up in the middle of the league. So we're league average defensively, which is good. Maybe slightly above average with the turnovers and sacks. Uh, defensively, yards per game, passing wise, they are 18th and then defensively. And then rushing wise, they are 24. So we might be able to run really, really well against them, which bodes well because we will have JT with a breakout challenge. Offensive ranks, we are number one. They are number 24. Uh, and then we see giveaways. We're actually, we've given up the ball 14 times this year. The Raiders have only given up five times, which is pretty impressive. Third down percentage, we're getting better, but we're 19th in the league, which is not great. Uh, they are ninth, which is uh, very good. I mean, a 3% difference, so it's not crazy, but still, we need to get better in th on third downs. And then defensively, red zone percentage, we're about the same 1% difference there. Sacks, we are the number one team. Takeaways, we are the number two team. They are 26th and 29th. And then touchdowns allowed, they are fifth, only giving up 20 touchdowns on the year. We've only given up 21, so it's pretty quick. It's pretty close there. We are 11th overall defensively. They are 23rd. So let's get into our breakout running back challenge here. I appreciate you calling my number last week, coach. It was a high point in my season, and I want to build on that performance with another big game and another victory. So keep feeding me the ball against Las Vegas. I'm going to pick up where I left off, and I'm going to show those dudes what an elite running back looks like. So JT needs four touchdowns or 200 total yards rushing and receiving. I think we pretty much had the 200 yards last week four touchdowns is a lot we'll see if we're able to do that but again we're playing one of the worst rushing defenses in the league so i do think it is doable as for our playoff picture if you guys have missed it we are right now third in the afc behind kansas city at number one and pittsburgh at number two and also some of you guys have been asking so i will show you guys the sliders i really haven't changed it i don't think i've changed it at all uh, to be honest, it's not under there. Where is it? Like, I don't even... It's been a while since I've changed them. I feel like they're pretty good. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think I should change anything. Um, but overall, I feel like it's pretty good. Uh, so quarterback accuracy, I actually bumped up to 55. I might actually lower that to like 52. Um, 55 was actually pretty high. Uh, pass block uh, is at 34, wide receiver catching 45, run blocking 25. We're still running the ball pretty well. Uh, I mean, number one in the league. So, yeah. Interceptions is at 35, pass coverage is at 40, tackling is at 44. Uh, CPU quarterback accuracy is at 56. I think this is fine. Um, but, yeah. I mean, we'll probably 
start making them a little bit better down the road but uh, i think this is solid for now again let me know in the comments down below uh if you guys think anything should be changed we got some bad news michael pittman jr is going to be out for this week against the raiders which gives us even more reason to run the ball uh to jt so i guess whatever but then quentin nelson is going to be out again with the dislocated shoulder uh, he's not been able to stay healthy uh these past few weeks which is not great defensively we are all good to go but um two big injuries to the offense so running the ball to the right is basically what we're gonna do josh downs with a upgrade here let's give downs wow his deep route running is really bad like insanely bad um so let's do that let's work on his deep threat here He's playing up to an 89 overall. Uh, he gets plus one deep route, plus one medium route, plus one release, plus one catching, and plus two awareness. Taj Hallman with an upgrade after having a massive week a week ago. And we will give him... I, I mean, honestly, I just think route running is probably the biggest thing. Uh, so let's just do deep threat again. He's playing up to an 83. Gets plus two deep route, plus two medium route, plus one catching traffic. Uh, we need to get his release up, but other than that, I mean, he's, he's pretty insane. And then Brian Clark with an upgrade, we will do a pass protector for him. So let's get into it against Vegas and the Raiders. Hopefully we can get up to nine and four, extend our lead on our division and get JT X factor. We are underway here in Vegas where... The Raiders will take over at the 25-yard line. Jacoby Brissett is a starting quarterback here in Vegas, and they are 8-4. Wow. 1,900 yards, 13 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. He's not been the reason why they're winning, but he's not the reason why they are losing. So good on him. Let's take a look at this team. And obviously, we got to deal with Josh Jacobs. Uh, Garoppolo is no longer the starter, and they have a rookie, Adam Wells, who has 76 speed. Um, interesting. I would look at his stats, but I, I really don't feel like it. 5'11 and only 79 speed. Not great. Josh Jacobs is a 99 overall. They have Tyler Algier. And they have a Tyler Drummond in year number two with 92 speed. Uh, at fullback, they, they, they got Derek Parrish. At wide receiver, Devontae Adams, who's still a 97 overall. Jacoby Myers. Hunter Renfro, and then Chad Haynes, a second-year wide receiver with 88 speed. And then Justin Hillman, a second-year wide receiver with 91 speed. At tight end, they got Michael Mayer, a very good tight end, who's in year number three. Colton Miller at left tackle. Josh Peters, a rookie left guard. Andre James at center. Derek Reed, a second-year right guard. And Braden Gatewood, another rookie on their offensive line. And uh, Gatewood at right tackle. Lionel Dudley, a second-year defensive end. Bilal Nichols at right end. Defensive tackle, they have a second-year uh, Dwayne Haskins. Or Dwayne? Dwayne? No idea how to say his name. Uh, and then Tim Settle Jr. as the second defensive tackle. Max Crosby at left outside linebacker. Obviously, he is going to be a big problem for us. Jelani Tavai. Uh, 80 overall middle linebacker. And then they got Tyree Wilson, the young outside linebacker, very skilled, good pass rusher. He's in year number three. Nate Hobbs, uh, Jacorian Bennett, and Marcus Peters are the three corners. Xavier Woods at free safety and Deshaun Elliott at strong safety. So those are the starting lineups for these Vegas Raiders. And honestly, this might be a game where Maybe we can take advantage here of their offensive line and, uh, you know, get after Brissett. But in order to do that, we got to stop Josh Jacobs. This is the biggest concern. Last week, he went off. 18 carries, 97 yards, and four rushing touchdowns for Josh Jacobs. He's a huge, huge problem. And we got to make, we got to do our best to stop him as Michael Mayer has a catch over the middle. Nice throw from Jacoby Brissett. We brought a blitz and it was completely picked up. So not a great start for our defense. 
As Brissett now in the pistol, they're going to hand it off once again. Josh Jacobs makes a nice move inside. Brian Branch will end up bringing him down, but already two carries, 18 yards for Josh Jacobs. Not good. Not good. This is this is a problem. Like we have struggled against great running backs this season as DeForest Buckner makes a nice play. We need him to have a good game. If DeForest Buckner struggles like he has all season long, like we're going to lose this game because we won't be able to stop Josh Jacobs. Second and 12. And Brissett will complete that pass to Devontae Adams. Good throw there. Good timing on that route. And Brissett 2 of 2 for 27 yards to start off this game. It's a gain of 10 to... Uh, I'm blanking. Who was that? Devontae Adams. So third and two. Raiders in field goal range. They're going to play action. And this is going to be wide open. It's Michael Mayer with the catch. Breaks a tackle. And he's inside the 15. And now Josh Chapman is injured on the play. Our backup... Well, not backup. Our starting defensive tackle with uh, DeForest Buckner is injured. So Adebarre will be in the game in replacement. And that pass is caught. Juju Brents gets beat. Hunter Renfro with a nice route. And just like that, Vegas has a 6-0 lead. Chapman will come back in. But this is concerning. And we've talked about this with our defense. It's been very inconsistent. It's a league average defense. And even though it says we're the best defense against some run we really haven't been right we've played a lot of teams that don't run the ball and that's been kind of the reasoning but if a team decides to you know run the ball and they have a great running back they're gonna get a ton of yards on us and that's that's been the problem our depth chart got reset so that's why holloman didn't return that even though you know in the settings there is a depth chart reset and you put it off and it still resets our depth chart because Madden 3,000 yards 28 touchdowns and nine interceptions on the year for Anthony Richardson he had a fantastic game a week ago along with Taj Holloman and to start off this game I am going to run it it is Evan Hole in the backfield which is a bit annoying but a nice block right there who made that block was that who was that that was a fantastic block it might have been Saunders that came over and got the block. I'm not sure. But that was a heck of a block. And it opened up a big gain for Evan Hole. It's a gain of 10. And now Jonathan Taylor will have a nice gain. And that's a gain of 8. And this is what we need to do. 20 carries, 151 yards for JT last week. Did not score. Well, did not have a rushing touchdown. I don't think he had a receiving touchdown either. Which is kind of surprising that he got um one of these dev trait upgrades because like i don't know i i didn't think 150 yards would be enough to get that challenge but apparently it was third and three now that run went nowhere we could look at jt here on a quick out maybe pierce on the zig uh we've got jt hopefully he can bring it in he drops it uh not great and it's fourth and three. We will go ahead and punt the ball. A very disappointing drive right there. Not what we wanted. And that's a bad punt. I didn't, for whatever reason, put all the power there. And the Raiders will start from the 25. Third and 10. Couple of incompletions in a row for Jacoby Brissett. And that's what I've talked about. Like, teams have really gotten away from the run on us. Um, which obviously hasn't helped them. And that is another incompletion. Three straight incompletions for Jacoby Brissett. And they're going to have to punt. Again, I, I I think it's Madden this year. I don't know. I don't know why teams just don't run the ball. But, yeah, that's just not great. Trying to get the run game going, man. And it's just, it's not great. Third and inches, the good thing is that, as you can see, Max Crosby is lined up on Taj Holloman. He got doubled, though, and it's picked. You've got to be kidding me, dude. Uh, it's going to be one of those games. Going to be one of those. Yep. Throw out a sack goes uh, directly to the defense. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? You know, I mean, that... 
that ne- you know that always happens, right? I mean, any any ball that just kind of gets tipped at the line of scrimmage, or you know, a quarterback that gets hit in real life, oh, it directly goes. I mean, everyone's throwing a crap ton of picks because of that, right? Down goes Jacoby Brissett, Shaq Leonard with the sack, and it's now a third and twenty. So our defense playing well here. We could really get after Brissett here. Maybe get a sack. Ah, Kratos is blocked pretty well, but Brissett's going to run. Kratos gets after him then, and he'll have to get rid of it. So fourth and 20, the defense that does their job after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Two back-to-back three and outs. So defense is doing well. Offense is not. Second and 10, and we're just going to take off here with Richardson. We have a lot of speed here. We'll get to the outside and get out of bounds, not even touched. And it's a gain of a 25. So Anthony Richardson making a play with his legs. He's 0 for 3 with uh, an interception. So it has not been a good start for him as we're just going to check down here, give it to Evan Hole. And that is the first completion of the game for Anthony Richardson. Unfortunately, it was not uh, JT. JT's not covered. Um, can I just have Saunders run a slant here? Quick throw out to Jonathan Taylor. Did they just forget about him? We'll take it. JT, an easy touchdown. <laughs> well, that helps. That that definitely helps. I'm not sure what the Raiders were doing there. But we will tie up this game at 7. Four plays, 80 yards in a minute. And uh, JT... Has maybe like 60, 70 total yards now. So it's a good start for him. Are you kidding me? A big run here for Josh Jacobs off the left side. Again, our run defense is awful when it comes to like these really good running backs. Like just no one can do anything. No one can make any plays. It's a fullback dive here. Buckner just doesn't do squat. And it's second and goal. It's infuriating, man. Infuriating. Second and goal. And bring Dion Branch more in. User Crothers here. And Brissett just gets absolutely destroyed. It was play action. And I'm not sure who got there. But it was a few guys. And it will be third and goal. Can we get a stop here? It's going to be a run. And Josh Chapman is there. He makes a nice play. And it'll be fourth and goal. The Raiders will opt to kick a field goal here from the three-yard line. And Carlson will knock that one through and take a 10-7 lead. So a good red zone stop by our defense. We've got third and seven. I'm going to send Pierce on the go route here. See maybe if he can beat his man. He can, and we're under pressure. I mean, it's the same old, same old. Can't stop the run. Can't protect the quarterback. Like, we just have these games where we just suck at both of those things, and we can't do anything. It's so frustrating. We're going to have to punt it away, and the Raiders will take over from the 32. Oh, my God. Taj Holloman can't bring down Devontae Adams. Went for the ball instead, and Devontae gets loose, breaks another tackle, and gets all the way down to the 32-yard line. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Feels like one of those games where Madden's just not going to let me win. Like that's, that's just what it feels like. As Josh Jacobs runs right up the middle for a gain of four. So second and six now. I'm going to blitz the, um, or Brian Branch. Not Deion Branch, that's a different guy. Brian Branch will come in on the blitz, and he has Jacoby Brissett. We left Josh Jacobs wide open there. Didn't matter. Branch was able to bring down Jacoby Brissett, a big sack, a much needed sack, and it will be third and 14. Can we get a stop here on third and long? And Brissett back to throw will be incomplete, targeting Devontae Adams, and it will be fourth and 14, and the Raiders... We'll go ahead and attempt another field goal here. This is going to be a 52-yard field goal attempt. 
and it is going to be a good. Max Crosby with the sack. We tried a bootleg, and it, it didn't work. Not even. No chance there. No chance on that one. Uh, I'm going to send JT on a go here. They're blitzing that side. No, he's not open. And we're just going to have to take off with Richardson. And Richardson will make this a doable third down. It will be now third and four as he gets out of bounds. And that will be the two-minute warning. So down by six here. The offense has struggled. The defense has kept us in the game. We just got to make some plays here offensively. And especially on third down. We've really struggled here on third down in this game. Max Crosby coming in, and we're just going to get that to Downs and Strops. Dude, that's the second drop in this game. By our wide receivers, it's a minute and 56 left in this game. Um, Yeah, I'm going to punt. And there goes Hunter Renfro, and that's going to be a massive touchdown. 80 yards. Wow. Wow, we blitzed, we went cover zero, and it burned us. Yikes, man. Not a good half of football from this team. One play. Unbelievable. We're going deep, and Alec Pierce has a step. Nice catch by Alec Pierce. He hasn't, you know, gotten much opportunities. Obviously, drafting Taj Holloman has kind of pushed Alec Pierce on the outside of things, but no Michael Pittman in this game. So, you know, we could really use Alec Pierce to, to play well. Looks like they're going to bring a blitz here. So I'm going to have, we're going to have Pierce wide open again. Alec Pierce and Alec Pierce is going to get into the end zone. So two massive plays for Alec Pierce. And he will score a touchdown. So there we go. Just like that, we're going to make this thing 20-14. to 14. We needed that, man, to stay in this game because our defense has really struggled. And, um, I mean, the Raiders kind of just made the same mistake that we did on their drive, right? I mean, we they just went cover zero. And we were able to burn them. Well, actually, that first play might have been cover one because I think they did have a safety in the middle there. But... He, he went the wrong way. We had Alec Pierce on a, on a wide open go route, go route. So good play calling. And uh, let's just make sure that the Raiders don't score with 20 seconds left. That would suck. And they're just going to run it. And there goes Josh Jacobs. Nice tackle there by Brian Branch. And the Raiders might be just content with letting the clock run. Thankfully, yeah, they'll get into the half. We've got third and one here. I'm going to quick pass it to Downs, and he should have an easy first down. He does. Richardson, 7 of 12, 160 yards, two touchdowns, and the tipped interception so far in this game. We're going to give it to Alec Pierce here. See if he can use his speed and get out on the edge. Actually, we're going to cut that up field. And, ah, man, we only gained two yards out of that. That's not what we were hoping for there. So second and eight. JT not in the game. And ugh, don't really love anything here. We're going to take off with Richardson and get out of bounds. And that's going to be a flag. Max Crosby with the late hit. That's going to be an extra 15 yards on that play. And we'll be down to the 15-yard line. So good job by Richardson. Just get out of bounds. And Max Crosby makes a big mistake. Now let's make him pay. Over the middle, it's Josh Downs. And he will have a gain of eight. So after starting like one for five passing-wise, Richardson has it's settled down here. What do we like here? Maybe just another over the middle here to Downs. No, he's not open. Ah, and Crosby's there. Good Lord. All right. It'll be third and two from the seven. A little irritating that JT has not been in the game. He is now. I might actually just run it here. I like it. We'll run it and no, there's just no blocking downfield. It's going to be fourth and one. Like, does anyone want to help block at all? 
We're going to go for it. Fourth and one from the six. I trust the defense enough. I'm going to move this to the left side, and we're going to run it again. And JT will have it. And JT down to the one-yard line. Ten carries, 44 yards rushing for Jonathan Taylor. He does have one touchdown already. So getting him a, another here would be awesome. We're going to hand it off to him. And JT fights into the end zone. Touchdown number two for Jonathan Taylor. He needs two more to get Superstar X Factor. And the field goal would be up and good. And we'll take a 21-20 lead. Oh, down goes Brissett. He fumbles it. Josh Jacobs will recover it. And now Jacoby Brissett is injured. He took a shot on that play. They're looking at his elbow, maybe. Not good for Jacoby Brissett. But let's take a look at this replay. I mean, he got absolutely destroyed. It was Steven Duvall with the big hit. Knocked that one free. Josh Chapman almost was able to grab that ball. But a huge play there by the second year inside linebacker, Steven Duvall. And we've got second 19. So Jimmy Garoppolo will come into the game and he's going to quick throw that to Jacobs and we can't bring him down. No one can bring him down. It's a gain of seven and it'll be third and 11. Do we want to blitz here? I don't think so. I think we stay man. We try to get pressure with our front four. It's very good. Everyone has superstar or X factor. So our front four is insane. See if we can get any sort of pressure. Garoppolo missed Hunter Renfro. Julius Brents got burned on the play, and Garoppolo missed him. All right. Well, that was a little lucky. We'll take it. We have a one-point lead. See if we can extend this. Make it this an eight-point lead, and hopefully we can just win this thing. We've got third and a seven here, and we're just going to go over the middle. It's Evan Hull, and he's able to hold on to it. Want an easy play. Get a first down, and let's just keep driving. Just over two minutes to go here in the third quarter. We're going to hand it off to JT once again, and it's just it's been that pretty much all day long. We really haven't gotten anything going with him on the ground. I mean, I guess we could try a screen pass to him. Get it off to the left side. This might work here. And JT just never gets open. And yeah, we're just going to have to dump that. Well, that didn't work. So third and eight. And I'm just, oh, I wanted to take off for the first down. We're not going to get it. Nichols with the sack, and we're going to have to punt. All right. Oh, just that. I mean, I need to be able to get through there. Unbelievable, man. Third and 13. And this is going to be incomplete. Jacoby Myers can't haul it in. Julius Brents in coverage. It'll be another fourth and 13. Garoppolo, he just doesn't have the arm, man. He can't get it out there quick enough. Gives Julius Brents enough time to react. And we'll go ahead and return a punt. Get decent field position. See if we can score here. We've got third and five here. Wanted Alec Pierce over the middle, but... He wasn't open enough. We'll have the open pocket there to get out and run. And it'll be first and 10 from the 33. We just, we can't run the ball, man. We have to, like, the only way we can run the ball is if it's Anthony Richardson. Like, everything is just stops. Like, we can't get through those gaps. It just makes us bounce off of our offensive line, which is just dumb. And... Like, we just can't do anything. Second and 10. JT breaks a tackle. It's a gain of seven. 17 carries, 56 yards. I've given him the carries. The offensive line just hasn't helped us out. And it's been really, really frustrating. The defense is heavy on that right side. Let's pitch it out to the left here. See if JT can use his speed and makes a guy miss there down to the 18-yard line. So 64 total yards. Well, not total. 64 rushing yards for JT. He probably has right around, I don't know, um, 
A hundred and like, I'm gonna have Saunders actually stay back and block here. Might get this to JT, no. Ah, we're just gonna have to kind of get rid of it. Didn't really like anything there. And it'll be second and 10. He probably has like right around 130 yards maybe total. Obviously had that big receiving touchdown early in the game. Now a big run here and JT will have another gain of eight. Uh, it's probably closer to like 120 actually. Still need 80 yards. I don't know. I mean, five minutes ago, I don't think we're going to get it, unfortunately. I'm going to send Holloman on a go route here as well. We've got Downs and Josh Downs holds on to it. Touchdown Indianapolis. Oof. All right. Well, that gives us a seven point lead. And we will make it an eight point lead here with 518 to go. 28 20, 11 plays, 57 yards in nearly four minutes. That was a very, very good drive. And hopefully our defense can get another, another stop here. We have not allowed any points in the second half. I don't believe. So it's been a good effort from our defense here in the second half. Jacoby Brissett, though, is back in the game. So first and 10 from the 25. And right away, we're going to... Well, I was going to try to get after him. Josh Jacobs ends up getting the carry there. And it's a gain of two. No turnovers in this game, although we did force a fumble. Just the Raiders were able to recover it. So they're going to throw it here and Renfro. No, that's not Renfro. Not sure who that was, but he dropped it. Very, very quick throw there. I don't think uh, whoever that was trying to catch that ball was ready for that. So third and 18. I'm going to double Devonta. Ah, no, I'm going to. Get over, and Brissett's going to run. We can't tackle him. Oh, that's a big play. That's a big play. Third down, we can't get off the field. Needed that, man. Needed that. It's going to be another run out to Jacobs, and just everyone takes a terrible angle, and Jacobs gets all the way down to the 34-yard line. First and 10 from the 17. If I were them, I would just keep running it. <laughs> we can't stop them. That throw is completed for a gain of four. Brissett, 9 of 16, 200 yards passing. As two passing touchdowns as well. So second and six for Brissett. Jacobs in the zone. Again, they should probably be... That was nearly intercepted. I, they should probably be, be running the ball. I mean, we can't stop them. But we'll take it. Third and six now. We're going to play zone here. Which I think is going to be fine. And Brissett will go deep. And that's going to be just thrown away. So fourth and six with 2.59 to go. They will go for it here. They do have all three of their timeouts. Yeah, I think you go for it here. We have not been good on third downs. And they're going to go towards the end zone. Knocked away. Julius Brents knocks that one. And with 2.54 to go, we will take over. That's a huge, huge play, man. We needed that. Let's get it to JT. See if we can get some more yards here receiving-wise. And that's a gain of 9 or 10. Richardson, 12 of 21, 198 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Not, not a... Not a great game, but not a bad game. I mean, we have Taj Holloman just wide open here. Like, they're just begging us to throw it to him. And that's going to be completed. Taj Holloman with the catch there. And that will get us down to the 42-yard line. We still need to get JT some yards here. I don't think it's really possible now that we just threw that to uh, Holloman. Like, I think we probably need... 60 plus for JT so like we could take a sack and then try to get it for him 72 plus 61 what is that that's uh 133 so yeah 67 yards or two more touchdowns which is not going to happen so basically every play needs to go to JT here plus an extra 
what is that, 58? Plus an extra 10 yards. And he loses two. All right. Not great there. I mean, I guess we can try here. I don't know. Um, is there maybe like... We could go speed option here. I don't know how to pitch the ball, though. Is it LB or RB? I don't know. It's going to be third and 14. I've never tried that play before. I pressed both. Neither worked. So third and 14. I'm just going to set a screen. See if we can get JT the ball. In open space. Get some blocking. No, not the best blocking. It's a gain of 10 for Jonathan Taylor. From the 48. We're not going to get it. I'm going to be smart here. We're going to punt the ball. And give our defense a chance to win this thing. A quick throw and it's intercepted. Tosh Holloman. Another pick six. That's his second pick six in back-to-back -back weeks. And Taj Holloman is turning into one of the best corners in the league. An unbelievable play. Picks it off. Gets over Jacoby Myers. Keeps his balance and walks into the end zone. And that will do it. Taj Holloman just won this game. We'll make it a 35 to a 20 lead. And again, we're the number one scoring team in the league, but it's really, I mean, it's our defense, man. Our defense just makes so many plays. Yes, they are not great against the run. They give up a lot of third down conversions, but they make plays. And Taj Holloman is one of those guys, and he's becoming one of the best corners in the NFL. The Raiders have first and 10 from the 40, and this will be a play action, and they get it to Michael Mayer. This is why we give up so many passing yards per game, really, is because just at the end of the games, you know, our defense is going to be like, eh, whatever, and this is going to be knocked away. Kenny Moore there to defend that one. So 45 seconds to go, second and 10. I'm going to back up here. So I don't want to get beat for a touchdown. I don't care if they dump it off. And that's going to be caught by Renfro. Breaks a tackle. Spin move. Breaks another tackle down to the seven-yard line. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Apparently, he's uh, he's incredible. Uh, playing Calvin Johnson over there. And that will be caught by Michael Mayer. <sighs> Our defense gives up a touchdown. I don't love it. I wanted to hold him to 20 points, but... Our defense likes to give up a lot of garbage time points and touchdowns. It'll be 35-27. They will go for an onside kick here. I mean, if they get it, they have a chance. Not likely, though. And this will be recovered by Alec Pierce. Just stay down, dude. And that will do it. With 14 seconds to go, I'm going to try to get JT the ball here. Maybe on like a, a screen play. But again, I mean, that's what, 51 yards? Yeah, I don't think, even if he were to score, I don't think it'd be enough. So that'll do it. We win it 35 to 27. And uh, Jacoby Brissett, 14 of 26, 277 yards, three touchdowns, and the pick six. Richardson, 16 of 27. 231 yards, 59% completion percentage because we can't throw over 60%. The game doesn't let us. Three touchdowns and one interception. JT, 20 carries, 70 yards and a touchdown. Josh Jacobs, we couldn't stop him, man, but they just stopped running it. 14 carries, 120 yards. Richardson ran for 87 yards. JT, five catches for 75 yards and a touchdown. So, I mean, 55 yards short, only two touchdowns. So, yeah, I mean, we were never really even close there. Michael Mayer with 5 for 64 and touchdown downs, 4 for 29 and a touchdown. Renfro killed us, 4 for 118 and two touchdowns. Devontae, 3 for 50. Pierce, 3 for 80 and a touchdown. He was good. Hallman with one catch for 19. And then defensively, you can just look at us here. Two TFLs for Snow and Branch, a TFL for Buckner, Duvall, Brents, Chapman, Odengbo, 
Shaq Leonard, and Rasheem McGreen. And three sacks, Shaq Leonard, Stephen Duvall, and Brian Branch. And the one pick was Taj Holloman, who took it to the end zone for a touchdown. And that would be, I believe, his second pick six on the year. Obviously, JT did not get the uh, challenge done to get X Factor. Again, no big deal. We already have three X Factors on the offense. And, you know, you can only have three activated. So it's not like we were going to activate his. I, I think having Holloman, Pittman, and, well, I don't know. Yeah, I think Holloman is worth it. Although he doesn't matter. JT might have been actually better. But, I mean, it's not a huge deal. It's not like we run the ball a crazy amount. So, all, all that matters, we got the win. We advance to 9-4. and four. The Raiders fall to 8-5. and five. A big deal was actually Brissett getting injured because he was playing really well. And then Garoppolo came in and stunk it up. Uh, we, next week... In week 15, we do play the LA Chargers, who are 8 and 5 as well. So, them and the Raiders are tied at 8 and 5. Richardson has an upgrade. Ooh, let's give him. His accuracies are so good right now. I think we just continue to work on improviser then. Because I do want um, a couple of those abilities that give him that. I mean, what other abilities would we want? Gutsy Scrambler, what's this? Passes with this ability are immune to throw penalties caused by defensive. Nah. Long range dead eye. Um, I mean, that would be a good one. Roaming dead eye. Gunslinger passes with this ability at faster passing speed and release the ball quicker. Ooh. Actually, I think we want a strong arm. Uh, passes with this ability receive better pass blocking from their offense lineman. That would be nice as well. That's just 90 overall in general. Uh, hot route master. Passes with this ability have access for two extra to four extra hot routes during pre-play adjustments. This would be amazing too. I think strong arm and field general are the probably the two that we want to do. Let's let's get strong arm done then first, since we're closer to that. Um, and then we'll work on field general. I think that's the best way to go. His accuracies are so high right now. I mean, to be fair, we're getting a big boost, right, for the morale and stuff. Because, I mean, without the, the bonuses, short accuracy would be an 89, medium accuracy is an 88, and deep accuracy is an 88. Still good, but obviously the boosts are, are helping out quite a bit for Anthony Richardson. So, obviously, he's, he's become a very, very good player and... Probably one of the leading candidates uh, for MVP. I think. Can you look at that? I don't remember where to actually look to see. Um, I thought you could, but maybe not. I can't remember. But we play a, a solid Chargers team who has a very good pass rush. Obviously with Darwin James next week. So it's going to be a tough game. But we have taken a two-game lead in our division, which is massive with four games to go hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and i'll see you guys in week 15 against the los angeles chargers